too fly won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pin code, pin code, Signs can be tricky, it can overheat your brain. Signs can be hard to chew, each bite can be a pain. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pin code. Change in flight path. Please confirm. Yeah, I confirm. That's new. Where are we going today? What's the difference? Where is us flying today? Nowhere. Go take a break. Better yet, go to sleep. Nothing interesting here. Better leave him alone or he might sting you. <laughs> what? Did he get stung by something? A fly. <laughs> he got stung by something, my friend. It was just something a lot larger. Remember? The whole thing started when you invented that shrinking machine for Sphere Jet. Let me go ahead and tell you about it. Yeah, the story went like this. So not too long ago, I was sitting at home and thinking, as I usually do, about something wonderful. Compression! <laughs> I did it! <coughs> now I have a shrinking machine in my Sphere Jet. We can shrink to any size. <coughs> <laughs> Admit it, I'm a genius! Listen, genius, can't you stop by later, huh? I got a lot of work to do. Everything else can wait. I need a volunteer. And just where we find one of those... Just imagine it. I could shrink you so much that you could fit entirely in this jar. Entirely? But what are you waiting for then? Start shrinking. I'm tired of waiting already. Ein Moment. Get ready. I'm turning on the shrinker. Oh. Well, did it work? Yeah, yeah, it worked. Excellent. And now aim it directly at that big jar of beautiful honey. <gasps> Where are we? And where's my jar of honey? I suppose that it would be safer to conduct our first experiment using field conditions. So I transferred us to this field. The field is safer? It's become a total jungle. Regular insects have become as big as dinosaurs. Oh, haha. <laughs> Don't worry about bugs. Our shrinking machine will definitely protect us from any danger. Uh oh, oh. I am, I am, I am. What do you think about those bugs now? Don't worry, nothing bad will happen. Just a little bit of turbulence. For my shrinking machine, that was no big deal. Uh, uh, be careful. Oh, what a nasty spider web. Full speed ahead! <laughs> Did it eat you or something? Why don't you make this music box bigger before the web's owner comes along, huh? Night! I'll prove that my shrinking machine is not like some kind of little fly. Did you escape? Well, think about it. A spider web is actually stronger than steel. That's science for you. For us, of course, poof, it's no big deal. But if you're the same size as a fly... So, you didn't escape. What a shrewd little porcupine. It's just a spider web. A spider web. All right. That was fun, but enough's enough. How about you unshrink us? I can't. If this spider web is this strong when we're shrunken, then it will crush us when we increase our size. We have to get free first. What a sticky and awful web. My God. At least we're not falling. Let's go ahead and get rid of it. 
before... Uh, before what? Look out! Ah, 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 help me! Ah, somebody! Ah, 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 ah. Hey! 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 Oh, hey, oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, soft landing. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, what are you doing? Nine, get off, bad insect. You hear Quiet. me? Quiet. Were the butterflies and spiders not enough for you? Look, these here ants can carry 20 times more than what they weigh. They could carry us away and not even notice. Ah! The fact that an ant can drag such a large weight doesn't mean he's stronger than us. An ant can carry a large load, large in comparison with the ant itself. Now, what did I tell you? <laughs> Better not to get involved with them at all. But that's only because he's so small, about a millimeter. Let's try to increase him 1,000 times up to a meter. Don't be afraid. Now, the weight of this giant ant is one billion times more. Exactly. That's right time to be afraid. The opposite. The bigger the ant becomes, the more helpless he is, because force increases less than weight. There's the ant. We increase him by three parameters, Length, width, and height. That means the body becomes one billion times heavier, but the strength of his feet only one million times. I'm completely confused by all those zeros. Put simply, the ant will become very big, but his muscles will not, and the ant's strength will not be enough even to lift himself. And he won't be able to lift anything else either. So what? Now they're small and so are we. Huh? Exactly. We became small and light, but our strength did not decrease as much. So now, we can lift more than our weight. It is only a small, silly bug. We are intelligent beings and strong. We should really not be afraid. Oh, stop it now. Like you're the most advanced race? <laughs> These bugs are just as smart as we are. Just so you know, they can speak. Bugs can talk? Ha! Don't tease, Pin. If these little bugs can speak, then I'm a bee from the moon. That's it. The bees will help us. And then we'll see exactly who's from the moon. <laughs> we just need to send them in the right direction. You think bugs can speak? What, you weren't even impressed that a spider almost ate us up? They can speak just like me and you? Let me explain in a little more detail. Of course, bugs don't communicate exactly like we do. Heck, even we haven't always been able to communicate like we do now. Our ancestors used the language of gestures. And similarly, bugs use their own language of gestures. And it's even pretty advanced. Take the bee, for example. When it finds a field of flowers containing nectar, it would be easy just to load up. But it would be a crime not to tell all your friends about it. So the bee flies right back to its hive and dances. It dances? Not like that. The bee dance isn't just the motion. It's their language of communication in which every move is important. In order to tell the other bees where the nectar reserves are, the bee moves in figure eights. The diagonal straight line of the figure eight is the most important part. With that diagonal line, the bee is indicating the direction to get to the right place. And the distance from the hive depends on the time it took the bee to move along that diagonal line. If it moves for one second, then it's 500 meters to that honey field. Two seconds means two kilometers. After several minutes of this dance, the other bees fly off in the given direction. So how did you ask for help from the bees? Huh? Well... Hi, 
out of there. Sting me. Oops, that isn't what I wanted to say. Not too far from here, there's a lot of nectar. <laughs> That's it, now I'll explain how to get there. Are you sure you're doing everything right? Exactly according to the instructions. While on the straight line, the bee buzzes and shakes its abdomen. 15 shakes of the abdomen per second. Feel the rhythm. It doesn't look like they got anything from your disco dancing. Look at that! They did it! Apparently, bugs do have their own language. Barry, you have opened my eyes! Oh, Barry! Oh. And that's the end of that happy story. But then, of course, we barely got away from the bees before they realized that we had tricked them. <laughs> awesome. But I still don't understand. Where are we going today? And why is Pin in this mood? Moon landing completed successfully. On the moon? Why on the moon? Because someone here bet that bugs can speak and promised to call himself a lunar bee then that person should now accept his loss and live up to his side of the bet. I'm a big, silly Luna Bee. Come on, shake your abdomen. Make it look natural. Dance like there's an onion 10 kilometers to the north. <laughs> flight path received. Commencing flight 10 kilometers to the north. What's he doing? Hey, what? Come yeah, back here, you stop. beasting! Stop! stop. 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 stop.